To make pool candy, this is what we're gonna be using. We have a buttered rimmed cookie sheet. Now this is a large one. To the back, you're gonna need a heavy bottom pot. This is a four quart. You'll also need a heavy bottom small saucepan. Three cups of sugar, one cup of water, one fourth teaspoon cream of tartar, three tablespoons distilled white vinegar, one and a half teaspoons vanilla extract, your candy thermometer, and in this bowl is about 50 squares of wax paper. This is to roll our candy pieces in. I gotta enjoy the fruits of my labor. Y'all, yeah. I made two more batches of Divinity yesterday. You look at that. That is creamy. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that video. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. It's Lippy. So you saw what we need to pull this off. Hence, pull candy. And I'm going to tell you something. It makes great mint flavor orange flavor, any extract. I don't like lemon, but I'm staying with the traditional recipe. This was my mom's recipe. She just called it pool candy taffy. That's what she called it. But in the comments from yesterday's uh, Divinity, Miss Ree, our good friend at No Insanity, she said she thought the divinity was the white candy. I think she said her grandmother made. And so I asked her, I said, was it hard? Was it taffy-like? And I don't know if she's responded. So, Ray, this one's for you. I think I'm nailing it. And then there was another comment that said, Miss Lippy, um, I think they worded it string candy or stringing candy. I think that's what I think that's what they said. And then I was like, maybe people are asking about pool candy. Now, mind you, if you have RA, which I do, um, even if you don't, this is a good recipe to involve the whole family. Gather your sisters, gather your girlfriends, your gentlemen friends, I'm doing this by myself, okay? It's gonna be tough. I've never done it by myself. I've always had other hands, but I know that I can because instead of doing a full rope, I'm gonna do individual ropes. I think it'll be easier for me to handle. I'll find out when you find out. But the comments spark something because I actually was gonna do brittle today for Buddy. Now, Buddy doesn't like peanut brittle. He just likes the brittle. So, the next video we'll do peanut brittle, only I'm going to omit the peanuts, but I'll make sure that I let y'all know when to add them in, which is towards the end. So, that's going to be next. But I was like, I got to go digging in my mama's box of treasures. So, here I go looking and looking and looking, and there it was. So, I'm trying to think the last time I made this, my oldest granddaughter is 15. She had to be three or four. And the only reason I'm saying this is because I'm playing back in my memory bank of my neighbor girlfriends that came over and helped. I think Michaela was three or four. So let's say it's been 11, 12 years since I made pool candy. Prior to that, it was pretty much an every year thing. And I had not even thought about it until Re questioned about white candy. And I thought in the South, especially in South Louisiana, it was very popular many years ago. So that's what we're gonna make. Um, it doesn't require a mixer, guys, but you better have you a good rimmed cookie sheet 
with butter. Now, I have tried it without butter and setting it in the freezer. What that does is as soon as that hot candy is poured on a cold surface, um, like I'm using a cookie sheet, actually many years ago they used marble. I don't own a piece of marble, never have. Um, and then it would stop the cooking. The reason why I'm not gonna put it in the freezer is because I only have two hands. When it stops that cooking, so let's say that you have three or four people, set your cookie sheet in the freezer for an hour. You won't need to butter it. So when you pour your candy on there, it stops that cooking and y'all can, you know, grab a piece and start pulling it. Since it's just me, I'm going to allow it to go to a room temperature, which it's cool. It's about 69 degrees in here. Surface that I buttered. That allows it not to stick because I don't have multiple hands. That's the only difference. Now, if you had a group of people and you still want to butter it, that's fine too. But there is another way of doing your candy. So, we got to get to the stove. We got to get some water boiling. Okay, that's the key. And not like divinity, we're actually using this boiling water in our can. So, I got to turn you around with this fancy tripod that my phone is in. Yes, it is. It's just not in the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> the first thing we got to do is bring our one cup of water to a rapid boil. With no heat on the stove... Under this pot, we're gonna add our three cups of sugar, one fourth teaspoon cream of tartar, three tablespoons white distilled vinegar. You saw me do this with the divinity. I wiped my mark off. Now I've got my mark sitting at 255 Fahrenheit. Okay, our water's come to a boil and we're gonna add it to our sugar mixture. With the stove still off, we're gonna get this well and combined. Okay, I just put the heat on the stove, medium heat. We're gonna give it a good stir, and once it starts coming to a boil, we're gonna stop stirring. And that's, we're gonna, that's when we're gonna add our thermometer. Okay, I've noticed I've got a little bit of sugar on the side of my pot. So I'm gonna come in with just a brush and some water and get this brushed off because I don't want any crystals. That's because I got heavy handed stirring. Okay, we're starting to come up to a boil. I'm gonna lightly stir. And that's it. It's all the stirring we're gonna do. Now we're gonna set our thermometer in our pot you do not want the tip touching to the bottom because it will give you a false read. Here we go. We got to come up to 255 degree Fahrenheit. While we wait, here is my little pieces of wax paper. Now, the wax side is what the candy's going to go on. I'm just going to fold it up. Some of them are short. Some of them are big. But the key is cutting it not so big that they'll, they won't fit. So, got me a whole bowl. If I see that I need more, I'll just cut more. This is actually a good treat because you're not having to work so fast. Like I said, I'm gonna be pulling a large amount because it's just me. Whereas if it was multiple people, you could all just take a piece and start pulling it just like Taffy. And it's going to go from a light caramel color to white. It is the best treat and so much fun. So I hope that y'all make this this year with your family, with your grants, with your children. Just make sure the children doesn't get involved until this has set for about 30 minutes to where it's cool to the touch or, or just slightly warm, okay? We don't want kids around all of this right now. But where we need them is at the back end. 
And we need all them hands. And they might get a little taste or two. I might get a little taste or two. Or three. Just like. Okay. I reached 258. It's not a problem as long as you stay under the 260 mark. Now I'm gonna go in with the vanilla. That's because I'm under 260. So I won't lose my vanilla. Get this folded in good. All right, let's get our cookie sheet over here. And we're just gonna pour it in. That's it. Now I do not scrape it out. I just let whatever comes out, come out. Okay, very gently I want to turn this. And we're not gonna touch this 20 to 30 minutes. So, do you know what I'm gonna do? You guessed it. I'm gonna finish my cup of coffee. I'm enjoying my candle, yes, I make candles every year for the holidays. This one is probably my favorite scent that I came up with. I just call it holiday. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that cutesy mind. So it's holiday. It's bringing in the spirit of Christmas. Do not touch this. Whatever you do, I leaned over and I felt a puff of heat. So, 20 to 30 minutes. Then we're going to butter our hands lightly and we're going to work with this. That vanilla, I can smell it. it. It doesn't burn off. At 260, you'll get a hint of it, but you'll burn your vanilla off. But right now, this is where, now let me tell you, you could have omitted the vanilla, added peppermint. You could have taken a tiny brush or even a toothpick and used red gel food coloring. Not the liquid, the gel. And you could have run you a bead with a pretty long toothpick with that gel throughout. Just start swirling it right now, okay? So therefore, when you start pulling your candy, to get it white, you'll have ribbons of red. Now you could get fancy and form this into little candy canes if you wanted to. There again, that requires a lot of hands. But if you really wanted to kind of put a little color to it and a peppermint twist, there you go. So, because I'm actually gonna twist mine before I cut them, kind of like a ribbon so that would be very, very pretty to use as a gift or just fun to do. But I'm just leaving mine plain white taffy. Okay, I've got a little bit of butter on my hands. And I'm gonna go to this corner here because it actually has a gap. See, I can touch it. You see this? It's like a sheet. All right. Oh, and it was 22 minutes. I gotta get it up. I might have didn't put enough butter in that little center. Now it's still a little warm. Okay. You're thinking, oh my God, you're teaching us some difficult things. No, this ain't difficult. Okay. Here goes, I think I can get it all up. Make sure I can get it up. That's where that butter comes in, guys. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and split this so I can work with it. I may have to cut this in two, but you see what I'm doing? I am pulling, hence, Pull candy, and I just wrap it, and I pull it. This is where those extra hands 
come into play. I'm gonna go ahead and grab this other piece and get it pulling and then I'll just set it down. And you just, this is all we're doing. Now that came in two pieces. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna break it into two. There we go. Oh yeah, that's so much easier to work with. And I'm gonna fold it. And this is all I'm doing, y'all. I'm fixing to put some Christmas music on. And I'm gonna go to each one of them and just pull since it's just me. I'm gonna end up with four pieces like this. You can already see it changing colors. All right, so I've pulled this one. Let me grab this one up. I'm gonna pull on it. There we go. And you're gonna be pulling a while. Let me break this one in half. Like I said, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna do four pieces. And I'm fixing to start singing to some Christmas music. I'd let y'all listen. Even though I can't carry a tune in a bucket, YouTube would get on to me. Yeah, the other day when I, uh, what did we do the other day? Whenever I did the Christmas decorations. Oh, the caramel popcorn for my son-in-law. Uh, his molasses kind. I made a regular batch. Uh, I got in trouble, and it said it was free, so I had to change the music. So, and they don't have the best music, I'm just saying. All right, I'm just going to sit here and pull candy. That's all I'm doing is pulling candy. I'm gonna pull it four or five times each one, set it down, pull some more. There we go. And that's all. And sing, and I'll be back next year. <laughs> Why? Why do I get myself into these things? Because, y'all, because this is my way of giving back. This is my Christmas gift to y'all. Giving y'all these old, delicious recipes at the fruits of my sweet baby Jesus labor. Y'all, go get you some kids. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> what month is it? I think I done made it to February. <laughs> See you again, white. Y'all, this is the best thing to make for the holidays. Not by yourself. But now, I've challenged myself. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. I wasn't. But look, it is turning into beautiful, kind of white, pool candy. See? Can y'all see that? All right, let me show you an example. See, that ain't white. But I've just got me some pieces. And I'm... Making it like a ribbon, mush it together, and just keep pulling. Yes, I'm challenging myself. I ain't putting no more butter on my hands because you don't need to. Okay, let's go to this one. Oh, this, here we go. Yeah, this is, this one that got stuck to a short string. Oh, yeah. This is just like I remembered. I wished I had a nail. You know why? Or something, I'd hang that sucker and I'd just start pulling it. You know, like the old fair? A wheel? I need to have Buddy make me something for next year. If I'm going to do this by myself again. No, I won't. I'm going to get them grandkids. Y'all want some candy? Get up in the kitchen. But you ain't going to get none. <laughs> I'm nearing the end. This was the largest piece. But let me show y'all something. Ooh, my nose itches. Okay, you see this? 
When I stopped pulling this piece, I started twisting it. Nope, I'm going the wrong way. But as you can see, I've got one, two, three. Well, you can't see. I'll drop the camera and show you. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could get two pieces out of this. So if you had six to eight hands, y'all could have each pulled a strip or even 10 hands and cut it in half. And y'all could have had it pulled in less than five minutes because you're only talking a little piece that one person's sitting there pulling. But I take at the end, because I don't know if I showed y'all really. I pull at the end, then I start coming down. The center will get thin on you, so you have to be careful. And then where it kind of gets big, that's where you really got to start pulling it. And I'm almost at the end, and I'll show you what I do. Now, I've been at this for 20 minutes, y'all. Like I said, this is not a one-person job, but I'm making it work. See what I did? Now, I'm going to bring it together because it's starting to change colors, so I know it's about to set up, so I have to, I'm going to have to work fast. And then I'm just going to start twisting. Some pieces are not going to be the same because... I'm going back and forth, back and forth. Now, I'm going to take this one. It's a little long, and I'm going to mash it together the best I can. Here we go. See, I'm going to squeeze it back together, and I'm going to pull it again to get a better uniform rope. And then I'm going to twist it. Now, when I get down to the end, I can kind of stretch it. But you see how I've made a ribbon? I don't think the camera's picking up. Can y'all see that? It's got a ribbon to it. Anyway, I'm fixing to get ready to start cutting these things. Now this one, I'm gonna bring it together and I'm gonna start twisting it because I'm fixing a cut and call it done. Call my hands about to fall off. But like I said, if you had multiple people, it had already been done. It had been white because you'd have been stretching it till it got cloud white. I mean, but it's gonna turn white just sitting here. I done had two little pieces. Now, this is going to have a taffy consistency. Okay? If you wanted it more, I don't know, hard candy like a, a Brox or something to suck on, you need to bring your temperature to 260 to 264. I kid you not, extremely hard ball state. But it will just be a candy. Now, you could add the vanilla, but I'm not going to tell you it'll hold a pure vanilla, but you'll get a hint of vanilla, if that makes sense. This is taffy. This is what I think. Re, is this what you're talking about? Okay. Last pull. I just folded it down. And then I'm going to start twisting and cutting. Okay, y'all, I'm going to stop here, and I'm just going to start cutting little pieces. Well, that one's mine. <laughs> that one's mine. No, I'm kidding. I'm going to wrap every dog I want up my kitchen clean. All right. All right, I'm cutting. Can y'all hear the sound of the candy? It's starting to get hard. And like I said, it will get white, white, white. Now it would have got white, white in my hands if I'd have just had one that I was working with. But I was all by my lonesome. Now let me show y'all something. Now you don't have to make a ribbon. Well, I don't know. Can y'all see how pretty that is? I don't know if y'all can see. I ain't the best camera person. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show y'all how I wrap it. Just like a little piece of candy. I just put it in here. And I fold it over. That's just so they don't stick to each other. And I twist it. You don't have to do this. You could do that old-timey hard candy where you chop it and break a piece off. But... 
this way they're just individually wrapped but now this is one of them candies you just suck on like i say if you want it more hard than taffy 260 to 264 fahrenheit but this is how we like it and it'll last a good 10 minutes in your mouth i'm just saying but you don't have to have yours as thick you can have yours in skinny little ribbons if you had more hands all right i got a bunch more to do i'll see y'all in april there you have it old fashioned pool candy and it was a job, but like I said, if you have six to 10, seriously, four would be fine, but six to 10 and you all tear a piece and just start pulling and pulling. Five minutes, it's done, and it's gonna get taffy a lot quicker than this. But you see how it's already changing? It's already changing, and you can hear it, listen. See, so there is old fashioned pool candy. Make sure you do wrap it because it will stick. Or like I said, you can do like we used to in the old days, take a butter knife, but it just takes a few minutes to wrap. And you could probably find some cute little candy wrappers if you wanted to give it as a gift. But remember, if you want it this consistency, 255 to 258. If you want it more of a Brock's candy, to where when you when it goes in it's not like taffy feeling and taking a long time to break down then you need to go 260 to 264 that way when you put it in your mouth it all it just kind of dissolves because then it has that hard ball crackle if that makes sense i did these as in a taffy so there's your two options so you can do both but it's all about texture and some people don't like that taffy. Some people like more of that hard candy that immediately dissolves. That would be 260 to 264. So our next will be brittle, peanut brittle without the peanuts. And I'm gonna sit down because my hands, look how red they are. They're a, little, they're a little sore and I need to go make some candles. So as always, stay safe Stay well, and God bless. And I shall see you on the next one. See, Re, what I do for you? Mm-hmm. This better be that white candy.